Happy Valentine's Day. This is a perfect excuse to pull out all the stops and make a really fabulous dinner. Whether that's for yourself, yourself and a friend, or yourself and several friends, which is what I'm gonna do. This is not your typical weeknight dinner. This is a really special one. Um, it looks complicated, I don't think it really is. So let's get started and please let me know if you make it and how it turned out. So the first thing that we're gonna make is dessert because it takes the longest to prepare and the longest to cook. It bakes for 30 to 40 minutes. But we're going to make these little pastries that look like roses, but they're made with apples and puff pastry. The first thing I'm going to do so I can kind of get started on um, melting the glaze is I'm going to take three tablespoons of apricot preserves. I'm gonna have this start to melt and then I'll start preparing the apples. So to the three tablespoons of apricot jam, I'm going to put two tablespoons of water. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare the water bath for my apples. So I've got about two cups of water in this bowl and I'm just gonna take half a lemon and I'm gonna squeeze the juice of that lemon into this water. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to start to prepare the brown sugar mixture that I'm going to sprinkle on these apples before they bake. So I'm just going to take two tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And I'm just going to kind of mush this around and get it to mix, and then we'll set this aside. Okay, so we'll give that a quick stir. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to take two apples, and you wanna have red apples, because we wanna have the red color of the skin be the tips of the roses. I'm just gonna cut each apple in half. You, we wanna core these. I'm just gonna take a small spoon, and I'm just gonna scoop out the core of the apple. And what we're going for is very thinly sliced apples. And when you finish slicing them, just dump them in the water. Okay, so now I've got my apples in the lemon water. I'm just gonna separate them a little bit and I'm gonna put them in the microwave for mm, three or four minutes. So let me go do that and I'll be right back. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our pastry dough. So I've got a just a regular wooden board here and I'm gonna put a little bit of flour on this so that the puff pastry doesn't stick. So now we just need one sheet of puff pastry and I've had this sitting out to get to room temperature because what I want is I want this to be soft. And I'm gonna roll this dough out so it's a little bit, a little bit longer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this into six pieces because this is gonna make six roses. So I think the easiest way to do this is with a pizza cutter. So while I'm waiting for my apples to warm up, I am going to take our apricot jam mixture and with a little brush, I'm just going to brush this jam onto each strip. So I've pulled my apples out of the microwave and I'm just gonna take one and test it and make sure that I can, I can bend it. I think that looks good. So now what I'm gonna do is I have a strainer in the sink. I'm going to drain these, um, get all that water out of them and then I'll put them back in the bowl and we'll put some of this brown sugar on it. While that's draining, I'll get back to the painting of the strips. So I have preheated my oven to 375. I did that a little while ago so that it would be ready. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my sugar mixture and I'm just going to sprinkle it onto these strips. And I'm not gonna use all of it because some of it I wanna use on my apples. So that's done. Let me grab my apples. 
sprinkle some of this cinnamon sugar onto my apples and then just give those a good mix. Last thing I need to do to get ready is I need to grease my muffin pan um, because even though this is non-stick, I don't want to take any chances that these are not going to come out. So now we'll start assembling these. So I've got my pieces of apple and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one piece and I'm going to lay it on the top half of my strip and I'm just overlapping a little bit is these are going to be the petals of your rose and I'm just going to take that bottom half and I'm going to flip it up over that top half and press it down and then from one end I'm just going to start to roll it up and I'm just going to put that right into my muffin tin. So we're going to put this in the oven at 375 for 30 to 40 minutes, but at about the 20 minute mark, I want to look at them and I'm probably going to put a piece of foil over the top because I don't want them to burn while they finish cooking. So the next thing we're going to work on is our salad. And this is also a special salad. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the dressing. Um, so I'm going to take three tablespoons of good olive oil and one tablespoon white wine vinegar. I'm going to take half a cup of fresh mint. I've just pulled this off of the stems. Two teaspoons of honey and then I'm going to take a couple of tablespoons of fresh grapefruit juice. A little bit of salt. A pinch of pepper. Okay, so that's going to be our dressing. Put this on the blender and make it into the dressing. I'm just going to take this and I'll just put it into a little bowl. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start to work on the rest of my salad, the ingredients for my salad. So I have a head of radicchio and I, all, all I need is about two cups. I'm going to cut out the core and then I'm just going to thinly slice this and I will add this to my arugula. I have about four cups of arugula. Next, I'm going to work on my grapefruit. I am going to take the rind off and I'm just going to work my way around the grapefruit and take the rind off. So now I'm just going to slice this into slices. Don't want the pits. And then the last thing I'm going to do is work on my avocados. So I bought these a couple of days ago, so they should be nice and ripe. And then, so I've cut it in half, and then I'm just going to take a big spoon and scoop out the flesh. I remove the pit. Then I'm just going to cut these into slices. I'll lay these on. And then I have a little more fresh mint. I'm just going to sprinkle that. And then I've got half a cup of toasted hazelnuts. And I'm just going to sprinkle those. That's perfect for now. I'm not going to dress it yet because I don't want um, I don't want it to get soggy. So I can just set this aside and we will start to work on our main course. So my timer has just gone off on my oven. We're at 20 minutes and I'm going to look and see. And yep, they need to be covered. I'm just gonna put them back in there. Set the timer for another 10 minutes or so. So for our main course, we're gonna have roasted broccolini and shrimp in a creamy cheese sauce over pasta. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a very simple preparation on our broccolini. Broccolini is baby broccoli. So what I've already done is I've washed it and I've cut the bottom two inches off of these stalks. So I'm just drizzle the olive oil. If you have a sprayer, you can spray it. And then I'm just going to sprinkle them with salt and pepper. And they will cook in a 375 oven 
for about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna be pulling my roses out. This will go in, the oven is still at 375. I've got water starting to heat up for my pasta and then we'll get started on the shrimp and we'll be finished. Let's check on these. Oh, they look great. See? So I'm gonna put them aside and I'm going to let them cool for probably about five minutes or so. My broccolini can go right on into the oven. I'm gonna set that timer for five minutes so that I don't forget while I'm working on the rest that I need to um, loosen those up and then put them out to cool. So the, sh the shrimp is gonna start by cooking in um, a couple tablespoons of olive oil. So I'll get that started heating up. While that's heating, I can start to prepare the rest of my ingredients. I'm gonna need about a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. I'm also going to need uh, about a half a cup of shredded sharp white cheddar cheese, dried basil and some dried oregano, some fresh parsley, some garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and crush my garlic. So my oil is heating up. I have two pounds of jumbo shrimp. And I'm gonna cook them for about two minutes on each side. My timer has gone off, so I'm gonna loosen up these roses and I'm gonna put them onto a rack to dry and cool off a little bit. Okay, my water is boiling. So I'm gonna take my pox stuff, this is just linguine, and I'm gonna dump it. Okay. Those look good. I'm gonna take them out, put them on a plate. I'm gonna turn my heat down a little bit. And then I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of butter to the pan, stir that around, okay. And then I'm going to add my garlic, and I'm just gonna saute that for about a minute. Next, I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of wine, and I'm gonna add my oregano and my basil. Just gonna stir that around, oh, so fragrant. Next, I'm going to add my cream and the cheddar. And I'm just going to stir that until the cream is hot and the cheese has melted. My broccolini is ready. I'm going to chop up some of my parsley. Okay, I've turned the heat off. And I'm going to add my shrimp back to the sauce. I'm just gonna let it sit in that sauce for a couple of minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna drain my pasta. So my pasta's ready. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plate my roses. So for my roses, I'm just gonna take some powdered sugar and sprinkle them over the top. There we go. These guys are all ready. So my pasta is finished. So now what I can do is I can just pour my shrimp and sauce right over top of my pasta. I'm gonna sprinkle it with some of the fresh parsley. And our dinner is almost ready. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a Valentine's Day cocktail. And I'm just gonna make a Cure Royale. So I've got some fresh raspberries. I've got some Chambord. And I'm going to top that with some bubbly. Love that sound. Cheers, happy Valentine's Day. 
I hope you have a wonderful time and that whoever you celebrate with, even if it's just yourself, that you just remember how loved you are.